Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through the problem solving in forward algorithm using forward algorithm and Viterbi algorithm. So we'll be going through both the algorithms in this lecture only, guys, because these two algorithms are almost similar. I can say, okay, yes. So these topics come under HMM, guys. That is nothing but hidden Markov model, okay, yes. So in our tutorials, like in unit four, I think so. This topic is there. Unit three, okay. So it let it be. It might be any unit. So at that time, I solved a problem, but I ended up doing some mistakes. So that is the reason why. Please so follow this problem only, guys. Okay. Yes. So just to understand the concept in examination, the calculations might be a bit lengthy, but you can directly solve it easily, guys. So that is the advantage here. So when compared to decision tree problems and all those problems, this problem is easy. I can clearly say it. Okay. Yes. So let us start. So basically, they will give you a flow chart in this way, guys. So you can stay, call this as a state chart diagram or anything it might be. So it will be having some probabilities. Okay. Yes. So here, from start to go to healthy, you are having a probability of 0.6. From start you to go to fever, you are having 0.4. So in this way, the probabilities will be given, and the total of outgoing will always be one, guys. So anywhere you take, so uh, take at healthy. So 0.1 plus 0.4 plus 0.5, it is one. So in that way, anywhere you take, it will be one, guys. Okay. Yes. So the population, the probability which is given from start to mi middle states so this is your input guys this is your output and this is your hidden layer so from input to hidden layer is called as initial probability and in between hidden layer if you are transferring from one place to another place that is called as a transition probability and the last one that is nothing but from hidden to our output that is nothing but emission probability so because it is emitting the outputs it is transitioning in between those uh, hidden layers that is nothing but transition probability and it, this is the initial part that's the reason why it's called as initial probability okay yes okay so let us start so firstly let us go through forward algorithm guys okay after that we'll be going through viterbi guys i have solved this problem really clearly and step by step guys the only reason why i solved it clearly and step by step is because previously most of you are confused with the previous problem right so i did some small small silly mistakes i, I should say in drawing diagrams and all those things so that is the reason why i want to take a clear example and a different example okay yes so in this method so here the they gave the uh, result as a normal cold and dizzy so we need to find the hidden pattern so what is the hidden pattern the end result is nothing but healthy healthy and fever so when he is healthy he felt normal and he is healthy cold and when he got fever he felt dizzy so this is the hidden pattern which is behind this so this we got result and this is the hidden pattern okay so this hidden pattern is the question you need to find that only guys okay so to find that you will be calculating the probabilities at each and every path to this particular nodes guys so the simple thing is we are having three outputs right yes and we are having two hidden layers two hidden nodes you can say okay so we are having healthy and fever so just to draw them guys so healthy fever healthy fever healthy fever and combine them so from start you can go to healthy fever from healthy fever healthy or fever you can go to healthy fever or anywhere right so you will draw all combinations okay so once a drawing all combinations is done so now number them guys so the only reason why i'm numbering is if you are writing on this arrows it is really complex to understand guys even i wrote in the initial stages and i understood that it's really complex so that is the reason why i started numbering directly so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 10 so based on arrows you can just identify so and this nodes i gave number a sorry i gave letters a b c d e and f okay yes so initially these values are not there and these arrows are not highlighted guys assume in that way okay yes so let us start so at a what are the inputs guys so only one input right yes from start we are having that arrow is one so at a the one right yes okay so at the start are we having any value guys no so let us start so from start to healthy so you are at start so you are not having any value so now assume it as one only guys it will be easy right so it is one okay so from start to healthy what is the value so check in the diagram okay yes so from start to healthy the value is 0.6 got it yes so now you will be taking this 0.6 into so what is the you came till here right so now from here you need to go to normal right yes so from healthy to normal what is the cost again check here so healthy to normal it is 0.5 okay so now you will be multiplying it with 0.5 got it yes so in simple logic this calculations are nothing but the flow in which you are going guys so basically from start you went to healthy right yes so from healthy you went to normal so it is nothing but 0.6 into 0.5 so that is the value which we are calculating here got it 
0.30. Similarly, to go to fever to normal, so what will be from start to fever, fever to normal, okay. So from start to fever, 0.4 into fever to normal, that is 0.1. So 0.4 to 0.1, so, sorry, 0.4 into 0.1, okay. So once you solve it, you will get this value. Got it? Yes. Similarly, you will continue guys. So you got these two values, right? So write down the values at A. So at A, it is 0 0.30 and at B, it is 0 0.04. Okay. Yes. So the thing that you should do is what is the maximum among these two? Please underline it guys. Okay. Yes. So now let us calculate for the next nodes. Next C, D and E, F. So let us take at C. So at C, what are the incoming here? We are having 3 and 5, right? Yes. So now calculate for it. So basically at healthy, we are having some value, right? So 0 0.30 into healthy to healthy into healthy to cold. Got it? Yes. So once you calculate it, you will get in this way, guys. 0 0.30, 0 0.7, 0 0.4. So you'll be asking me 0 0.7 and 0 0.4. Please confirm it. Okay. Yes. So healthy to healthy. Let us check. So what is a healthy to healthy? Healthy to healthy is 0.7. Exactly. That's what we wrote. Similarly, healthy to cold. So healthy to cold, what is the value? Healthy to cold, 0.4. So just you multiply them. Simple, right? Yes. So in this way, you solved, guys. So you solved at 3 and 5. So basically for this path, you solved and for this path, you solved. So you got two values, right? Yes. So we got these two values. So the thing that you will be doing in forward method is you will add them, guys. Remember why I'm concentrating. You will add them. Remember, forward means addition. Forward means addition. Write it twice. Forward means addition. Forward means addition. Got it? Yes. So forward algorithm means you will add them. So we got a result as 0.904. So we'll be writing this value at C. Okay. In the same way you calculated, guys. Guys, I have written it clearly step by step. The reason why I wrote it clearly is because I, I don't want to confuse you again. Okay. Yes. So once you understood it, you understood the logic, you can solve it easily. So at D, we got this value. At E, we got this value. At F, we got this value. Okay, so once you got all the values, I told you to, un sorry, okay, the paper tore off, okay, it's okay. So I told you to underline, right? So we underline them. So basically I tried to highlight, but it's a bit uh, dark. So that's the reason why better underline guys, okay? So I underlined it, underlined it, underlined it, un underlined it, okay, yes. So once you underlined it, please backtrack guys. So basically from to here, how you can go from here? So highlight it. Similarly to here, how you can go from here? Highlight it. So from here, how you can go like this. So basically you are, you are just highlighting the maximum path. So from here, which is maximum, this is maximum from here, which is maximum, this is maximum from here, which is maximum, this is maximum. So that is the path. So here we indirectly found that if your health is normal, okay, then sorry, if you are normal, you are healthy. Similarly, if you are having some cold, you can say that you are healthy, but if you are dizzy, you are having fever. So this hidden pattern we identified from our output guys. So this is by using forward method. Okay. So the same method, same question we are solving using Viterbi algorithm also. So the only change is instead of adding them, you will take max guys. So it is nothing but a V max. Viterbi means a max. Got it? Yes. So instead of adding them, you will take maximum. Okay. So the one thing that you should remember is any algorithm you use, you will end up at same solution guys. Okay. Yes. So the logic here is so there you are adding here you are taking max. So is it multiplying or changing any values? No. So that is the reason why the path will be the same. Got it? Yes. So please solve it guys. Step by step, you'll be getting the same answer. Okay. Yes. So I hope everyone got a clear idea on this. Okay. Yes. So I think all the missing topic problems are also done. So this will be the last lecture for machine learning. So if there are still any kind of problems, I'll be directly sharing you the solutions guys. Okay. Yes. So let us meet in the next lecture in with some other subject. Thank you. Thanks for watching.